What's up, everybody? If you've been following along with me for any amount of time, you know that I'm a big fan of Xtool stuff. Uh, I've been working with them ever since they came out with the D1. I've got the P2 and the X1 Ultra behind me. I've also got the Metal Fab out in my metal shop that I've been posting some shorts about recently. Uh, but they've got a new laser that I want to talk to you about, and it's actually an upgrade to that P2. It's the new P3. Now, they've released like a teaser video on it. Uh, it's a little... Uh, much to watch because it's really fast and it covers a lot of stuff. So I wanted to look at it on the website with you guys and just break it down to help you guys better understand what exactly you're looking at. It is really a major upgrade to that machine there. Um, so if you're not familiar with that, that was a 55 watt CO2 laser and it wasn't their first uh, jump into the CO2 realm. Uh, obviously being the P2, they've had other ones before. Uh, but like I said, now they're on to the P3, which is a big upgrade in size, big upgrade as far as usability. It's got a bunch of extra cameras. It's just a lot better. So let's take a look at it real quick here. Um, so the first thing that you'll notice is they've got their $100 deposit, save $1,000 thing going on again. It's kind of something that they always do when they release one of these machines. It really is a great way to save money. This should be the best deal that you'll ever get on this machine. Um, and like I said, you just put a $100 deposit down on it. I'll put links down below or, or a link on the screen here. And, uh, you know, it'll save you a thousand bucks in the end, which is, is really great. So now it's not a cheap machine. It's going to be six grand if you save that thousand uh, dollars. Otherwise, it's going to be seven. But like I said, this is a very big machine. Um, so the most powerful CO2 laser that they've released yet. Like I said, that is a 55 watt behind me. This new one is going to be 80 watts. Uh, it's also the largest machine that they've released yet. Uh, so I wanna say the P2 was like 23 by 13 maybe, um, the you know actual working area inside it. So, you know, not small, but again, not huge for what some CO2 lasers can do. This is gonna be considerably bigger. It is 36 by 18. And that's 36 wide, and just like the P2, and I think we'll discuss this a little more later, it's got a pass-through ability. So really, it's 36 by, you know, almost an unlimited amount, as, as much as you can pass through the machine, basically. Um, so the fastest CO2 laser. So again, the P2, I'm going to keep comparing it to that since it's, you know, really the upgrade to the, the P3 is the upgrade to that machine. Um that was 600 millimeters per second, which is, you know, pretty fast for uh, engraving and stuff like that. It's nice for cutting. Um, this is 1,200, so it's double. Now, don't expect to see 1,200 all the time. Even with that, you're not going to see 600. There's ramp up speeds as it's moving, but it will allow the machine to run substantially faster, which is nice. Um, so I talked about the cameras and that's really a big thing. So that was really big with the P2. It had a camera that could see the waste board. And then it also had a more precision one that was on the gantry. Um, so the problem with the one that just kind of sees overall is that you get that fisheye effect. So while it may be pretty well, you know, focused and centered on, on the middle of the screen, once it gets out towards the edge, you lose that detail. So they had the camera that was on the gantry. You could move that um, to a specific part and get a really nice, perfect shot of that for, uh, you know, if you had something that you uh, wanted to cut out very precisely or maybe a coin or something that you wanted to engrave very precisely, uh, you could get the exact location of that. So with this having more cameras, you'll just have uh, a better chance of getting a perfect shot, uh, you know, a perfect overview of what you're trying to work on. Uh, so I think that stuff's really important. It's got this one camera here, which is really nice. So when you lift the screen or when you lift the uh, top up on it, you'll get a, a, a larger overview of your cutting area. Uh, it's further away. You'll get less distortion from that fisheye effect. Uh, I think that would be really nice. Uh, safest laser, you know, they're always really at the, the forefront with safety stuff. Um, they've, you know, made it very, very difficult to have problems. They have fire protection systems. Um, you know, there's a scrap buildup alert in case you're not paying attention to that kind of stuff. There's a bunch of, 
sensors and detectors and all sorts of stuff. You know, if your um, lid is open, the machine's not going to work. It's going to tell you to close it. It just, you know, it, it, they do a lot to kind of hold your hand, but it really doesn't slow you down if you're familiar with the process. So I like that. It's good for beginners and for, you know, people like me that have been using this stuff for a while. Um, so, yeah, like I said, think bigger, you know, much bigger stuff you'll be able to work on. Um, they're getting big into automated stuff, you know, using AI. Um, auto positioning is great. That uh, is a really big, big upgrade from things like the uh, D1, where you had to, you know, adjust the height and whatever to get your focus just right. Now the machine just does everything for you. Um, auto positioning. So you can see here, that's that camera that's on the lid when it's in the raised position. So it's just going to help you get everything uh, located exactly where you want it. And if you're doing like batch engravings on stuff, you just put them in there and it will detect where all those pieces are and put those, you know, whatever you're trying to engrave on it. Uh, so that's really nice. It really saves a lot of time. Uh, it was a real pain to have to do all this stuff manually for, you know, years, but I mean, you know, te technology is going to keep improving. So it's nice to see that we're in that era. Um, again, autofocus is great. Um, so the maximum depth, um, you know, the P2 had the riser base, which allowed you to work on taller objects. Uh, this will work on something up to eight and a half inches tall, uh, which is really nice. Uh, Okay, so this is this is big here. So it's the 80 watt CO2 laser, but they also have a 5 watt IR module. So if you've seen any of the videos on either the F1 or the F1 Ultra or that new F2, that uses, or maybe the F2 doesn't, that may be a different one. But either way, uh, these machines here are using IR lasers, which can engrave different stuff than a CO2 or a diode laser. Uh, so you'll be able to do things like wood, glass, acrylic, leather, stuff like that with the 80-watt uh, CO2 laser. With the IR laser, you're going to be able to do metal. So it'll do aluminum, copper, it'll do plastic even, brass, um, you know, and this is actually a, like an engraving. This isn't just like discoloring the metal like you used to be able to do with the diode lasers where it would, you know, discolor a piece of stainless steel and, and put an image in it. This is actually engraving into it. Um, oh, here's the, uh, pass through. So, you know, again, you can work on something 36 inches wide by, you know, whatever length essentially. Um, you've still got the rotary. It looks like they've got some improvements coming to the rotary system. Um, you know, again, I remember with the D2 or the D1, that was kind of a pain where you'd have to, you know, we, it was just all brand new stuff at that time. And, you were having to locate everything yourself and hope it worked. And now you can get like a 3D image of how it's actually going to look. So that stuff really helps you. It really saves a lot of material. I have a lot of test cups that, you know, didn't work out so well. Um, and that's not going to be a problem moving forward. Um, filtration, again, talked about safety. So I've got one of their filters over there. The filtration is really nice. Um, you know, keep all those hazardous, uh, materials out of your lungs. So, um, let's see what else. Here's some more of the specs. So again, 36 by 18, that's really big. Uh, that is 915 millimeters by 458 millimeters for those of you that prefer millimeters. Um, all right, here, thickness that it can cut in one pass. So for basswood, it can do 0.79, so just over three quarters of an inch. Um, for acrylic, it can do 0.98, so almost uh, almost one inch in one pass. So, you know, if you're making multiple passes, it'll be able to do even more. Uh, that's pretty crazy for something that, you know, you can have at your workshop at your house. Um you know, connection still, USB, Wi-Fi, operating systems. It works on Android or iOS, so you can use it on a phone if you want, your iPad, um, Windows. I always use it on my Mac, and it's nice because of the Wi-Fi. You connect it once, and then I never need to run a wire to the machine again. I just plug it into the wall, and it, you know, 
will send everything wirelessly, which is great. Um, you know, the pre-assembled, so the assembly on these things is pretty much nothing now. You pretty much open the box. You may have to remove a couple things that keep stuff from sliding around, but, uh, you know, very easy to use. Cameras are 16 megapixels, which is crazy. I remember my first digital camera was one megapixel, and that was insane. Um... Yeah, I don't see a ton of other stuff that we've got to cover here. Like I said, just really big upgrades. They've even got, um, you know, a list explaining all of the upgrades from the P2 to this new machine, the P3. Um, yeah, I mean, check it out on here. Like I said, I'll put links to all this stuff. I will, of course, be posting more videos about this once I get mine and showing you guys what it can really do. Uh, but, you know, don't miss out on that $100 deposit to save a 1000 bucks if this is something you're interested in. Um, like I said, I'll put a link down below, and that also helps me out. It's an affiliate link. Um, you know, it doesn't change the price at all for you guys, but I get a small kickback from the company. So, like I said, that really helps me out. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Go check it out. Go check those links out. If you guys have any questions, I'll try to answer them below, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.